This is pitiful. A thousand people freezing their butts off waiting to worship a rat. Classic Bill Murray perfectly summing up the feelings of many in his memorable performance from the movie Groundhog Day. It's the one day of the year that we trust a rodent to do the job of a meteorologist. You can see the festivities are getting underway right now in Pennsylvania. Oh. If Punxsutawney oh. Phil sees his shadow today, he will return to hibernation. And as the story goes, winter continues for another six weeks. If he does not see his shadow, <laughs> we can expect an early spring. And these people are really getting in. Yeah, yeah. have a little Taylor Swift dance yeah. party yeah. before <laughs> Punxsutawney comes out. But who needs a groundhog when right. we've got Sam? Sam, what are your <laughs> predictions for what we'll see over the next several weeks? You know, I think we all can say that we know it feels like spring is going to come mm -hmm. earlier, right? But Emily and Jay, the Pennsylvania forecast does call for cloudy skies today, indicating an early arrival of spring as Phil likely will not his shadow. Now, according to Noah, Phil is only right about 40% of the time, and at least us meteorologists get it right 50% of the time, right? But this <laughs> may play out in Phil's favor because climatologically speaking, six weeks after Groundhog's Day are typically warming. In fact, 90% of 244 major cities across the United States over the last 20 years or so have seen a warming trend, including us here in Grand Rapids with the influence of climate change and the fact that we're underneath this strong El Nino pattern, our little rodent friend may have been spending hibernation hitting the books because it's more than likely that spring-like conditions will arrive earlier over the next few weeks. Mm. I'm okay with that. Yeah. yeah, I'm okay with that too. And you know what? I love to see the celebration out there. Anything that brings Neat. people together gives them a reason to celebrate. You know, mm -hmm. I'm here for yeah. it. But definitely mm -hmm. already feeling those milder temperatures. They're yeah. already here. Yeah, we're in the 40s and 50s next week. So chances are it's more than likely that that trend continues. Mm -hmm. All right.